Alright, what the hell is a AMBT? It kind of looks like a longer CS63's hull with a mini Conqueror's turret. So here is the tier 10 Polish medium tank. It has a very distinct compact size and mix in a triangular shaped Conqueror's turret and that is the AMBT. Close enough, but it is a premium tier 8 American medium tank. Now we have 9 of those for your choice as a candidate for crew training and credit making potential but that's a lot of premium, it's like Russian heavy tanks. But it is only a paper tank, never existed. So kind of looks like a mini Conqueror if you will. So distinct triangular shaped turret design and the hull is somewhat reminiscent of a leopard esque shape in the ass as well as the cs63 in the front so upper plate is well sloped but lower plate is huge so shoot the lower plate yeah, triangular shape turret will bounce a lot of shots so haul down all the time when playing with this vehicle the ass looks like a leopard smaller but still like a leopard and not that bad looking not like the Astron or Astro RX. Oh god, that thing is ugly. <laughs> it's like a T-71 on, on crack, <laughs> pretty much. But this vehicle is not that bad looking. So, alright. It has a weird cleft of the turret shaped design underneath the matlet, which is pretty futuristic looking. That's a big cleft too, holy crap. Jam a shot in there and shot trap into the, into the hull roof. <laughs> That would suck. But I do have the commander cupola, which is small. So yeah, haul down tactics with this vehicle. But let's take a look at the modules. So 105 auto reloader. The first for American. The rest are just auto auto uh, auto loaders. There are no auto reloaders, right? Astron RX is a magazine fed clip, so it's not the auto reloader like a projecto. So penetration is above average for a medium tank or better than 200 millimeters. Big alpha. Three rounds in the clip, three seconds between each shell. 20 seconds for the first round and 14 for the last. That takes a while. 0.38 accuracy. It's okay. It's not as bad as above 0.4. And three seconds of aim time, which is a little bit long, but hey. Crew of four fits all the patents. And that's pretty much it. Since they moved the T-54s to heavy tank line, which, which is stupid, but whatever. And yeah, it's not a bad configuration for American medium tanks. But let's take a look at the firepower. So 215 millimeters of pin. It's APCR shell. Gold shell is another APCR, which has better pin at 278. So, a little bit better than 250 or so, but eh, okay. And 19.2 seconds for the first round, then 13.4 for the last round. So, the best reload is 13.4 base without vents or brothers in arm. It is auto reloader, so you cannot put rammer on this thing. So, the best you could do is about 12.5 seconds or so, which is okay for that alpha, but not great since it's a medium tank. Takes about 50 seconds to load three rounds, three seconds between each shot, which is okay, and three rounds in the magazine. Uh, Turret traverse is below average, more reminiscent of a heavy, only 9 degrees of gun depression and 10 elevation. This is bad. 10 elevation is close to the manticore. That thing cannot shoot on a hill practically anywhere. So bad gun depression, bad elevation means you are useless unless the person is on the hill right opposite to your valley or something. So basically means you are useless on Westshire, whatever that map is called. Uh, 2.88 seconds of aim time. It's auto reloader, so give or take. 0 0.36 accuracy with a 100% crew, not bad. 
and DPM sucks. Only 1600. No. Oh. I mean, Brothers in Arms and Vents could get it to like 1700, but you have no Rammer to help you with the DPM. And it's like about 2000 base DPM for the average. So you lose out about 20% of DPM, which is kind of a big chunk too. So, uh, that's, let's take a look at this version before we make any more judgment on the gum power. So 0 0.20 for moving dispersion factors, not great. Usually this is about 0 0.14, 0 0.15 or so. So that's because of the auto reloader. Uh, God. I mean, it's not as bad as we saw with the object 590 yesterday, but it's not good. So it's like the, let's see if the 122TM is about the same. It's like the 122TM. So that has a big gun. It's a 122 millimeter, but this is only 105. Also, the 122TM has better accuracy, not moving, and better aim time. So, blah. We do have better DPM. Holy crap, that, that thing sucks in terms of DPM. Jesus. But, eh. Is it good, though? Even if you have such bad dispersion factors, is it good with the accuracy or the auto-reloader? Well, potential damage-wise... Yeah, you don't only carry 35 rounds too, so I think it's okay. I mean, if people make the 122TM work, they can make this vehicle work. So this all depends on the armor of this stuff, but otherwise, the gun's okay. The gun's average. The DPM could use a little bit, a little bit more of a buff, as well as the aim time and dispersion accuracy. Uh, Intershell reload time is okay with 3 seconds, it's not bad, and shell velocity is great, it's APCR round, but no 5 degrees of normalization, give or take. So overall, the firepower of this gun is okay, alright-ish. It does burst about 900 damage, or one, uh, actually burst like more than, it would say like 1000 damage. <laughs> in the span of 6 seconds, which is surprising, but it takes you about 50 seconds to reload. So, it's the same with like AMX 5100 or something like that, but you have to make sure you're doing the last shell and only use the burst when necessary, and that's how you play auto reloaders. But let's take a look at the armor before we make more judgment on the vehicle itself. So, 1300 health, average, 70mm at the front of the hull, and 250 for the turret front, but here is a closer look. It is like a Conqueror's turret, so triangular shape, very bouncy. Top of the turret is only 40, so overmatch with a 122. Yeah, but otherwise, you'll bounce like the STRV 103s at tier 9 and tier 10 without the cage armor, besides the cage armor. So that is good. Cupola is only 75. You'll get pinned, so that's the only weak spot. Hull front without sloping is about 250 for the well sloped area, but middle of the the weld between the upper plate and uh, middle plate or lower plate is about 150 or 160. So you'll get pinned. So just shoot the lower plate, you'll pin. <laughs> Don't shoot the upper parts of the upper plate. Uh, you can also shot trap. That's a that's another problem. So always go haul down like this, and it somewhat mitigates the lack of armor beneath the turret, but not much. Holy crap! That's a very big shot trap. So if you depress the gun, make sure you always don't overextend past the the ridges between the turret and the hull. That's where the shot trap will go. <laughs> so, somewhat dependable, more dependable of an armor than a T-69 per se, or something like a Patton KR, but not much. Side armor, 
only 40 with 10 millimeters of space armor tracks are 20 so it's only 40 millimeters god that sucks so don't side scrape whatsoever side of the turret is only 72 so 70 actually not 72 rear is dirty okay so don't use the side armor don't use the rear armor only use the front and only use the turret front so overall armor is surprising for a medium tank at tier 8 it's not like a centurion obviously but it's better than a patent kr obviously or a t25 pilot number one so more dependable than most medium tanks other than like the super purging or something like that all right so armor is a pass for a medium tank but given the gun power and given the armor it could go haul down and start to trade shots so i mean if people make the 122 tm work they could make this vehicle work so sometimes you need the burst and that's when you go 1000 alpha burst which is great but other times uh it's 1080 damage burst which is scary in terms of a medium tank doing in six seconds so it's not bad but it takes a while to reload that burst so play this thing like an autoloader at the start of the battle be more reserved and save your health until half of the enemy team are dead then you go go ham with the burst damage and moving around and stuff so let's take a look at the mobility but 36 tons with about 18 horsepower per ratio top speed is slow only 40 reverse of 14 kilometers per hour so it's like the centurion the pre-buffed centurion's top speed which is somewhat lacking also the hull traverse is below average for a medium tank that coupled with the turret traverse is also below average so be a little bit more reserved about playing with this vehicle like a bat chat it's not a bat chat or not even a projecto 60 um projecto 46. so <clears throat> let's take a look at the terrain resistance just to be sure not bad terrain resistance is above average so that's because it's buff with hidden stats for some reason all right this tank used different different hidden stats that override the normal values for whatever that reason means all right so okay it's not slow only the downside is the top speed you can help that with turbocharger you can also use the uh, bond turbocharger which makes it 46 which is a lot better just use the normal one for 45 and just use the normal one and this also helps with the horsepower per ton ratio making it up to about 20 so pretty good now uh, you definitely need that and let's take a look at the concealment and spotting so concealment above average surprisingly so it's all right it's not a bad shot but it's above average so that's good and only 380 meters of u-range whereas the average is about 390 usually it should be like 400 for americans and british vehicles but it's only 380 so kind of lacking right there like a chinese medium tank ish so overall in comparison with eight other candidates as a premium tier 8 medium tank crew trainer um uh, i still prefer my super purging because you can also train the radio operator for some other tanks the lower tier mediums and vehicles like t25 pilot number one has no armor same goes with the patent kr um you could do better in the basically the t95 e2 the premium version this is the fret version but the rest have garbage penetration all of them have mostly garbage penetration 190 so the best penetration out of all of these but the worst gun elevation that means you cannot shoot on a hill if you're driving down a hill you cannot shoot up it or down it whatever so gun elevation sucks dpm is also not the best 
So the the, <laughs> the turret is stronger than some of these vehicles, but that's that's pretty much required since everything else sucks. Horsepower per turn ratio is not bad, but well, at least it's better than the 25 Pilot as well as the T42. Basically, the T69 without the turret, with the oscillating turret. And the Aston, Astron RX, ugh, whatever. Top speed, 40, like the Super Pershing. <laughs> Everything else is faster, holy crap. Uh, traverse, like the, like the Super Pershing, holy crap. <laughs> it's the same Traverse as a Super Pershing. Uh, gun Traverse is uh, slower. Then a super purging. Holy crap. <laughs> you turned the super purging's turret faster than this turret. Alright. Has the one of the best camo without the patent KR. Patent KR is a bonus to the camo. So the best camo, that's good. And the worst view range out of all of them. So I put the projecto, even though it's not American, right here, to compare with the auto reloader. As you can see with the projecto, it's one of the best premium medium tanks at tier 8. And that's because the reload doesn't suck, the DPM doesn't suck, the accuracy doesn't suck, as well as aim time, as well as gun elevation, as well as horsepower per turn ratio, as well as top speed, as well as V-Range. Uh, so, yeah, as well as Traverse for the hull and turret. So, <laughs> there's a lot of drawbacks for the AMBT, a lot. And how the hell would I rate this vehicle? I mean, it has the armor over the projecto, but that's practically it. And the alpha, but that's practically it. It doesn't have the DPM. It doesn't have the gun elevation, the view range. Um, What's good about this thing? The top speed is also crap. Top speed of 40, it could be a lot better. Like maybe 50, 55, nah. Um, it's the burst and the alpha of this gun. That's what make it scary. It's not a 390 burst from a 122 TM, but the 122 TM is is a it's all right. I d I don't think that 122 TM is competitive enough, but the alpha makes up for it. That's the upside. So for this vehicle. The best thing about it is the alpha and the burst, of course, and the gun's not that long to aim, as well as shoot in terms of accuracy, but DPM is lacking, as well as gun, le gun elevation, as well as traverse. And so you have some armor, uh, how much would I give it? I'm thinking 5 out of 10, it's right on the middle in terms of effectiveness. You have the DPM, you have the burst, but everything else just sucks. And sometimes you'll be caught off guard in terms of the gun elevation. And if you haven't played the Manticore, the Manticore has one of the worst gun elevations in the game. You cannot even aim the gun upwards. It's it's a limp dick syndrome. So gun elevation, 8 degrees. You cannot aim the gun up. <laughs> you are practically useless when you're going down a hill. You can't even aim the gun up to defend yourself and you also have crew of two so you get high explosive and your both of your crew are dead so that's a different story but um five out of ten it has a decent gun but it's situational so i mean the base pen is good the dpm suck if this thing is top tier, obviously it will chew out a freaking Cromwell in a matter of seconds. No question. Of course it will. But, I would do the same in a Super Pershing against a Cromwell. Because the Super Pershing now has DPM. It turns faster now. Or even playing something else. You still, like Ast Astron RX, you have the DPM against a Cromwell. Sure, of course you have. But, this thing's DPM is not great. 5 out of 10. I mean, it's okay. It's not overpowered. So, like any premium before the super power crap, it should be a little bit less than normal tanks of the same tier. So, 5 out of 10. Well, there you go, folks. What do you get when you mix a Conqueror's turret with a CS63 
or a medium tank, you get the AMBT. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Sakura